Welcome to U.S. Election Bulletin. U.S. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his wife Melania cast their votes recently at the Mandel Recreation Center in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump spoke to the media afterward expressing confidence about the election. He noted, I feel very confident. It looks like Republicans have turned out in strong numbers and mentioned he was honored to see the long lines of voters waiting to cast their ballots. Wearing his signature red Make America Great Again cap, Trump again criticized electronic voting machines, arguing they were less secure than paper ballots. He claimed that using paper ballots, voter ID, and one-day voting would make results faster and more secure. If they would use paper ballots, it would all be over by 10 o'clock, he told reporters. Trump also dismissed concerns about potential violence after the election, asserting my supporters are not violent people. As the votes continue to be counted, Trump's remarks reflect his ongoing concerns about election security and his confidence in a high Republican turnout. Trump confident of big victory expects no violence in election aftermath. Former President Donald Trump expressed confidence in a very big victory in the election. Speaking to reporters, he said he felt very confident and noticed Republicans have shown up in force for election day. Trump cast his vote early to stay and encouraged his supporters to stay in line to vote. When asked about possible violence after the election, Trump dismissed it, saying, of course, there will be no violence, adding that his supporters are not violent people and he certainly does not want any violence. The former president called this his best campaign, crediting good policy and saying the top issue was the border with inflation next. When asked if this would be his final campaign, Trump suggested it likely would be calling it a sad but fulfilled reality. The comments come as Trump waits for election results, expecting a strong outcome for his campaign. A man was arrested at the U.S. Capitol Visitor Center during security screening on Election Day. Capitol Police reported that the man smelled like fuel and was carrying a torch and a flare gun. As a result, the Capitol Visitor Center was closed for the day while police conducted an investigation. All the Congress was not in session. The House planned to hold a brief procedural meeting later in the evening. Security measures had been increased across Washington, D.C., with the Department of Homeland Security warning of potential attacks and threats to key institutions, including the Capitol. DHS and the FBI issued bulletins before the election, cautioning that domestic violent extremists might attempt to disrupt the electoral process. As of 2 p.m., there were no other reported threats in Washington. However, in Georgia, election officials evacuated two polling locations due to non-credible bomb threats, with voting resuming about 30 minutes later. Authorities remain vigilant on potential disruptions as the election continues, ensuring the safety and security of all involved. A Cobb County judge in Georgia extended voting hours at two locations due to equipment problems that caused delays earlier today. Voting sites at Mount Perron Church of God and Kill High School in Marietta, Georgia were ordered to remain open until 7.20 p.m., 20 minutes later than the usual 7 p.m. closing time. According to the judge's order, voters casting ballots during these extended hours would need to use provisional ballots. This measure aimed to give affected voters a fair chance to participate in the election despite the morning delays. The extension was unrelated to separate bomb threats reported in Fulton County, Georgia earlier today. Those incidents did not disrupt voting in Cobb County but led to temporary evacuations at other polling locations. Election officials worked to address technical issues quickly, aiming to maintain a smooth voting across the state. The judge's extension allowed voters more time at these sites to ensure everyone had an opportunity to vote.